And residents of Kitscotty were given a platform on Monday to raise their concerns in trying to find a solution for crime in the area. Ryan Craig has more. Rural crime in the Kitscotty area raises enough concern within the public to hold a town meeting. One of the speakers who came to speak included a National Post journalist. We have an issue that's maybe not on the radar in a lot of places, but there is serious trouble with crime, especially in the rural areas. The people here are very frustrated, they're very worried, and then of course we had the Gerald Stanley case, which made headlines and alerted a lot of people to the fact that something is very wrong. Robson came from Ottawa to speak about what people can do to combat rural crime, the history of policing and government in Canada, and the Safe Communities Project. One of the suggestions that we'll get to later is where we all keep in touch by text so that we sort of know who's being robbed, you know, the kind of vehicle that was, you know, that was doing the work, uh, you know, on unauthorized entry. We think if we can keep in touch by text, you know, then it's, uh, it's a lot better way of being sort of the eyes and the ears for the police. These sort of town halls are important to open the floor for discussion and ideas. The, the educating is how you teach them about the fact that they have to do the texting and uh, one of the things that John's going to talk about is some of this stuff is the citizen's responsibility as well. Regardless of who is in the meeting, Hozak and Robson wanted people to take away two main points. And if we want Canada to stay great, we've got to get back to the proper relationship between us and the state. I want everybody to sign up for our texting program or stop complaining about being robbed, one or the other. Ryan Craig, Newcap News. Well, there are reports that a load on a semi caught fire this afternoon between highway, on Highway 16, rather, between Maidstone and Wasika. The incident happened around 3 p.m. in the westbound lane. Witnesses to the scene say it appears the semi may have been carrying sod or lumber, which caught fire. No word on the cause. Maidstone RCMP say traffic restrictions are in place and no injuries have been reported. Well, and a blast from winter over the weekend has left the city roads in less than ideal condition, making it difficult to get around on secondary roads and residential areas. There's some hot spots that we've received a few calls and, uh, you know, our, our own people have noticed that there's, you know, there needs to be some more work there. So it's clearing up those and then we'll, uh, we'll look at, uh, you know, spreading out into the, to the more residential areas after that. Crews are expected to finish clearing the priority roads within the next 24 hours. City officials are asking residents to be patient and also mindful of where they're putting snow as crews make their way to other parts of the city. I we'll ask the residents to cooperate with regards to pushing snow back out into the road right away because uh, we often find that sometimes on residential streets and on secondary streets that, you know, uh, snow was pushed back, that we've already moved the snow and the snow has been pushed back by a snowblower or a bobcat or even by a shovel. So that really impedes our operations. Residents are also responsible for re removing snow ridges to create a passage to their property, which includes any snow left behind by removal crews. We use a, a snow gate on, on the truck, so the snow gate would lift up in front of a property, but it's not, it's not 100%, so you know, we just try to mitigate what we put in people's driveways. For any information about the snow removal operations, visit the city's website. Well, we have five friendly felines up for adoption in this week's pet project. Herbie and Hildegarda are four-year-old siblings that came in as strays. Gretchen, Karen, and Janice are named after movie characters and are hoping to steal your heart. Here's John from the SPCA. Named after the movie Mean Girls, Gretchen, Karen, and Janice are anything but that. These three social butterflies absolutely love people. They just simply can't get enough. Whether it's curling up on your lap for a nap or being groomed, these lovely ladies will show you how much they appreciate being near you with the constant curve of affection. When they're not soaking up the attention, these inquisitive girls love to play. Life is one big game to them and everything is a new adventure. The best part about these three is that each one has had their adoption fee waived. That's right, you can adopt any of these beautiful felines for free. So what are you waiting for? Stop by the SPCA and meet this adorable trio today. If you're looking for a more mature feline, then you need to meet Herbie and Hildegarda. These four-year-old siblings came to the SPCA Estrays back in late January. Herbie is the more outgoing of the two. He loves people so much that when he sees you, he'll stand up in his kennel and greet you with a soft meow. Once out of his kennel, Herbie will plop right on your lap and fall asleep while you gently scratch behind his ear. Hildegarda is a little bit more timid at first, but once she gets to know you, she warms up quickly. She is such a kind soul that wants nothing more than to meet that special family that will love her unconditionally. While these two would do perfectly well on their own, they definitely have a very close bond and would love to be adopted together. 
If you have a big heart with lots of love to give, consider adding this lovely pair to your family. Stop by the SPCA and meet them today. This is New Cap Sports. Well, the Alberta High School basketball regular season has come to a close, meaning zone finals are about to begin. For Holy Rosary's senior girls, it's the last tournament before provincials, and a lot of importance is being put on returning to the provincial tournament for the second time in as many years. At least in the players' minds, Lance Phillips has more. Uh, two separate lines so that you get a little Entering ASAA zone so, finals yeah. this weekend, the Holy Rosary girls are in a good place. The team is ranked number one in the zone and after an opening round bye, opened the tournament Saturday. Yet even with the team's almost certain success, an air of uncertainty looms. Feeling pretty good, but super nervous. It's my grade 12 year. Hopefully, we'll make it to provincials. So I want to go out with a bang. I understand their, you know, that nervousness for them. You know, I I went through it as a player in high school as well. You know, there's, there is, you you can see the end of the tunnel coming, and you want to make sure that it's as, as successful as possible. And so you put pressure on yourself to to play at the, the highest level you possibly can. The departure of Eliza Banyas from last year's team left a hole that at first the Raiders girls weren't sure how they'd fill. But over time they have, and have excelled without Banyas. We've got a lot of depth, uh, we've got you know, lots, of, lots of effort and, and uh, good understanding of the game. They know how to play the game. It, they just needed a little bit of a, a, a boost to, to show, you know what, you know, we, we can do this. We know, you know, we've done this well enough we, for long enough that we can be successful with, with this plan. When we first started, we hadn't all really played together. We had a few new players coming in, a few new rookies. So it's kind of hard to get into the swing of things when we haven't all really played together. So it's come a long way. Of course, like any team, the Raiders aren't without areas of concern. In our zone pressure, when we're pressing the other team, our rotation is a little sloppy sometimes. We don't always know where we're supposed to be. And our communication definitely is a big factor that we need to work on. I think defensively we're quite sound. I think our, our basketball IQ is high. I think the effort is there. Um, I, I just think it comes down to finish. And, and if we can find a way to, to make the shots that we should make, we'll, we'll be successful. And whether that means we end up going to provincials, you know what, if, if we can find a way to finish, that'll give us the best possible chance. Lance Phillips, Newcap Sports.